it was literally yesterday. I don't remember why, but, well, because I saw a mail truck, I think. Uh, that I had the thought, wow, you know, our, the amount of time that we've retained the Ford Ranger based USPS mail vehicle um, is like something I can celebrate as uh, a like resource reasonable frugal decision. Something that hasn't been touched by the EV craze yet that I just read uh, the Verge piece on the possibility that uh, the next generation of USPS trucks are coming soon. There's a big war between some companies that I've never heard of, which is important. Um, and that they might be electric. But here's what I know. So, the Ford Ranger is a compact pickup um, that was mass produced. You've seen somebody, you've known somebody with a Ranger. Uh, and, um, like compact, I mean, like, like the, the actual fundamental design dates back to like the 80s. Uh, in terms of the powertrain. It's very simple, leaf springs. Um, there are no crumple zones. Well, that's body, but still. Uh, I don't know how much the male body adds, how much weight the male body adds, um, nor do I know which powertrain is in the male trucks. I suspect it's the four-cylinder, and honestly, I know the Toyota. I had a Toyota Helix, a uh, compact, uh, same segment, but a competitor. I know those engines. I do not know which engine was the good one. Whether it was the four, the six, the Ranger, but it doesn't really matter. Um, but it's like the four, it's very simple, very durable engineering. Uh, and more importantly than that, at this point, given, I mean, the chassis must be, most of them must be over 10 years old. Uh, like the Crown Victoria platform, uh, there's a shitload of parts, as far as I know, that were made for them. Um, and they're interchangeable across a long, like a very, uh, a, a nice span of time. Like, um, and I, I, this is not verifiable, but uh, like engineering in compact trucks at that time was, like, I mean, you could probably, like, the, the rear, uh, the leaf springs probably fit, like, all four Ford Rangers for, like, 30 straight years. Anyway, um, notably, I, if I, if my truck was any, uh, reflection, my truck was, like, less than 3,000 pounds, which, by the way, the car, the Jetta I'm driving right now is, uh, 30 six, 33, um, and if it had a four cylinder, it would have been, uh, now I'm not going to get into engines, but, and it was small, like, mail trucks, the reason why it's hard to think of them as being a pickup underneath, I guess, is because of how gargantuan everything has gotten, pickup trucks included, definitely. Um, and the engineering is very, like, simple. Uh, and by that I mean just, like, no fancy engine shit, just durable, reliable. Uh, here's where I'm going. <laughs> Electric vehicles, um, work great. Like, okay, so, big spo spoiler alert. Uh, electric cars have been around as long, technically a little bit longer than internal combustion powered cars have, uh, and electric service vehicles have been around, um, namely in urban areas in the early night or early 20th century, uh, there were battery powered, like milk delivery vans. Anyway, electric drivetrains are very simple. 
theoretically. But, <laughs> like, colon, any of my point here. Um, and and also particularly ideal if, like that the mail delivery application in like a suburban or urban environment stop and go stop and go like the actual distance cumulative distance traveled isn't all that much um that is literally the, the absolute ideal for an electric vehicle compared to any other powertrain but the fucking problem is the batteries um because batteries are heavy they don't last long and there's absolutely zero environmentally friendly way to dispose of them. I mean, like, we are everything culminating event. We are literally, like, my future uh, has all of a sudden become what I see in the future. It's just battery disposal. That's going to be the single thing. It's going to be either a bunch of old people and we're going to have, like, so many batteries to dispose of. Um, also... I seriously doubt they're gonna be able to get a mail vehicle with batteries, or a electric mail truck with batteries, and what I would imagine will have to be safety, modern safety shit. Um, hopefully no, like, electronics. I seriously doubt they're gonna be able to keep it in terms of weight, even remotely close. And that means uh, more wear on tires, brakes, especially, that's the other thing, exponentially, uh, amplified by the mail application specifically, like stop, go, stop, go, turn, turn, turn. Um, that those are the most high wear uh, actions that a vehicle performs. Um, and weight just, I mean, I sh it's what? Uh, it exponentially multiplies that wear. Um, Basically, what I'm trying to say is, if we, like, and I also, the environmental thing, if we actually wanted a new, like, it, 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 maybe it's time to replace the Ranger. Okay, I can't really see why. Mail trucks don't need to be faster. Uh, they might need to have more carrying capacity. Uh, that makes sense. But honestly, like, no trick suspension uh, or engineering at that scale without getting ridiculous is going to get you out of that if you want them to be cheap per unit. Um, wait. Wait. Uh, I cannot say it enough. But yeah. And I don't really, like, I don't even know if I'm going to post this or not because that's, I, I want to... <laughs> I really wanted to, like, for the mail truck application specifically. And that's, okay, so the Rangers, as far as I know, are universal. And the Ranger mail truck can go out to where my dad, like, deliver my dad's mail, where he lives on miles and miles of gravel roads, uh, half an hour away from anywhere else, where I would imagine between each mailbox, uh, a driver is, like, doing, like, fucking 15-minute trips sometimes, which is a lot. Uh, and then, I, like, the Ranger can also do stop-go, stop-go, because it's a simple components um, that have been iterated to a point it were iterated to like their optimal very low tolerance or uh yeah I think that's what I meant to say the one where things can be loose uh, years ago um, unless we take a cue from the old milk delivery trucks where it's like virtually no range very like minimal minimal batteries uh like maybe uh i don't know and because that's the that's the, the thing like with electric vehicles that makes it optimal the stop go doesn't necessarily drain as much as just going because electric co cars like coasting well it's it's more binary anyway um I wanted to say, here's actually a good idea. It might be. But I swear to God, if they're heavy. Also, with fleet vehicles, they could be interchangeable. Um, like, have a modular battery system. And, like, a small, quickly interchangeable battery in a fleet, in an electric vehicle, could be amazing. Like, there could be less weight spent on energy storage. But...
This is the one good idea, by the way. Semis. That is completely impractical. Anyway, um, yeah. You're welcome for that. Take.